I know you're a big proponent of meal prepping. Mm -hmm. Should people include a carb in all of their meals? Um, no, and you shouldn't look at your diet like that either. You need to no? do the work. No, you shouldn't look at your diet like that, being like, I have to include a carb in every meal. You got to do what works for you. And what that means is like some people, some people can actually eat a whole bunch of carbs. Some people are very carb, carb sensitive, um, it spikes with sugar. Um, so, you know, the, the, they should not eat that. Um, you've got to do what works for you. And like, for instance, if you're doing like a low carb, like a keto type of diet, that's not going to work. Um, now, I will say that in recent years, carbs have become the enemy. Mm -hmm. And people, like carbs are so bad. Carbs are, oh, carbs are, are like an amazing thing. And we need carbs because they're going to give us energy to work out. They're going to give us energy to function at work. They're going to give us brain power. Um, but all carbs are not equal. So there are simple carbs and there are complex carbs. The simple carbs are what I was talking about before, like with the processed foods and sugars and cakes and pastries, things like that, that that's going to burn right through you really quickly. You get like a little sugar spike and you're like, ooh, ooh, and then you crash, right? Complex carbs, like the oatmeal, the um, you know, sweet potato, things like that, they are going to give you lasting energy for the day, and it's good for functioning. Um, so, no, carbs are not the enemy. I'm not saying you have to have carbs in every single meal, but you should definitely prioritize them if you're not doing one of those low-carb diets. Understood. Um, talk to me about dairy. Mm -hmm. I was recently told um, that that the human body naturally rejects dairy. Is there any truth to that? <laughs> you know, what I'll say about studies like that is that there's another study out there that says the opposite. So, you know, you've really got to, we've really got to be careful with the soundbite study culture that we have here. Like, a follower wrote me and said, I was going to do your recipe, but you know, but you used canned coconut milk and aluminum causes Alzheimer's. And I said, right. If you take a look at that study, how much aluminum, what's their frequency, and it's largely based off the individual and their environmental factors that, that, that will actually make them at a greater risk to have Alzheimer's disease. So, but saying just a sound bite alone that, you know, you know, that canned coconut milk or like aluminum causes that, it causes us to reject things. Similarly here, like, you know, with dairy. Um, dairy um, is and can be a good thing. I personally um, have not had dairy, a lot of dairy in recent years. Um, and it started because when I was living with my ex, she was allergic to dairy. And I didn't really believe her. And one time I made like, I think it was a pizza or something. I was like, you can eat this, stop tripping. No, no, I made this pasta sauce with, with, uh, with like heavy cream. And the next morning she woke up and I was like, who is this next to me? Because <laughs> you know, their face is just like, ooh. So that really piqued my interest in looking more into um, dairy-free methods. And I just learned that, like, first off, I love non-dairy alternatives. I, I like the you know, plant-based milks a lot more. And I found out, too, that I can be nourished with them. But dairy in itself is not bad. I still do like my cheese. Um, I tend not to worry about things like this, and it's hard for me to answer questions like this much because there's so much variety in my diet. Like I don't like I, I don't eat and drink the exact same thing. There are a couple staples, but for me to be concerned about dairy is really not a big factor because I don't consume it like that. Got you. What's up guys? Thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video. Truly appreciate you. If you like anything you heard here today, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you know anybody that can benefit from this message, feel free to share. Peace and love.